All right, guys, what's up? We're back at it. Uh, let's try and stay positive, right? Got a fuel filter thinking, oh, maybe it's just clogged because it was sitting there. And when I primed the pump, it put a bunch of dirt in it. Well, I got a DW200 fuel pump. Turns out I learned something new every day, right? This was a carbureted truck. So the fuel pump in the truck, in the tank, was for carbureted engines. It only puts out like 12, 13 PSI. I need 55. <sighs> so we're going to remove the bed and change out the fuel pump. I was hoping I didn't need this for a very long time. Now I gotta be careful because my jack stands were placed when I had the bed on. So I'm just gonna tilt it up as much as I can. I'll pay attention, make sure it doesn't start leaning back. If so, I'll put a jack under the rear end. So I got some straps. Well, I got a strap. Now I'm gonna look around and make sure nothing is pulling. All right, so we got it somewhat tilted. We're gonna walk around and see how close we are. Have the bed up and there's our fuel pump. There's quite a bit of room. I'm gonna try and see if I can repair it from here. It's pretty crusty, so maybe some brake clean or just try to get it with the towel first and then brake clean it. I lifted it up a little bit more than what you saw in the beginning. And then the fuel pump is out and let's see if you can see. It's extremely clean in there. It's in really, really good condition. Fuel pump here, I'm gonna clean up the top half but this looks like a newer pump as well. Um, the float, the cinder unit worked, so basically just gonna change this out real quick with my Deech Works, Deech Works 200, and then we'll put it back in. This took me about two and a half hours to do or so. Uh, basically, just hook up your cargo strap up there to the front, just put it on the hook. I'm gonna get to it, try and knock this out. It's already almost six o'clock. I got about an hour to finish, or at least come to a stopping point. Look how spongy that is. All right, so I guess we'll use everything out of this guy. Flip this guy on. Oh, it's not even flared. We're gonna go ahead and flare that. Tighten this down a little bit. I need to get a heat gun, so much better. I'm trying to get this tube off, I had to cut. There was still some length on the tube. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it off. There we go. Hopefully putting it on will be pretty simple. I cleaned up what's going in the tank pretty good. Above it, um, I just kind of left it. I'm not trying to keep cleaning and then getting it down there. I don't really know what to hit it with. Uh, I would spray brake cleaner on this, but I don't want to get the hoses with it and stuff like that. These hoses could be replaced, but they just look like they have just corrosion or like grime on the outside. The actual hose still looks good. So we're gonna keep it all the same and let's go install this, put it in the tank. All right. Kind of slacking. I slowed down the pace. I was doing good. Now we're not doing so good. Make sure we don't let any of that grime fall in there. All right, hands are mostly clean. Let's try and keep this thing nice and clean. You want that float? I'll try to so you guys can see. But now it's hard for me to see. Get that float in first. 
difficult because I've got this filter on. Ooh. Don't like it. Oh, there we go. All right. We got our ground wire on the outside. That's good. That's in. You guys might lose visual here because I'm going to have to get in here. Oh, okay. We're good. Now it's just plug this in, put some tubes on. Don't forget your ground wire goes to the frame. All right guys, we're gonna see if the fuel pump primes. So I got you near the rear so you can hear it when I turn on. Oh yeah. So we pressurized it. Looks like there's no leaks yet. I saw the, uh, since I had the fuel pressure tester still hooked up, I saw it spike to like 80 PSI. So hopefully we'll get it started, but I gotta go to work, I don't have time. I'm gonna take the hoist down, put it back in place and pull the 240 in. All right, we wanna bring the hoist down kind of slow. That way we don't damage anything. And I'm just gonna let it rest and I'll bolt it up tomorrow. It's too late to start it tonight, and I'm about to go eat. I got 25 minutes before work. What's up, guys? Following day, uh, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to start the engine. Uh, hopefully, it was the fuel pump. I'm pretty confident in it, so let's get to it. So that's definitely really good. I got a small fuel leak. Oh yeah, you can see it's wet right here. It's wet down here. Might be losing some pressure. Uh, looks like on this return line is the issue. All right, so I fixed the fuel leak I had on the return line. Uh, I went ahead and hot wired the fuel pump and it seems to idle longer. Basically, I think I need to move the distributor a little bit. I don't know which way is advanced, which one's retard. Yeah, but we're getting pretty close. I got it to idle for a second. I'll show you guys right now. I'm gonna mess with the distributor though. Hell yeah. We're cooking off all the oil on the headers and stuff, but I noticed one thing. This is for the fuel pump and it was smoking too. See, it like melted this wire cap. So I don't know if I just had a bad connection and it was causing resistance in there, but I'm gonna try a new wire cap and try and get longer leads. That way when I put them in there, it um, makes a good connection. But I think I just did like a loose, weak connection. So yeah, uh, it sounds like it's hunting, searching for idle, which is a little strange, but I would say it might be good to start putting on the front end. So, you got it to idle good. I think what was happening is I had the fuel tester um, still plugged in and it's got a relief valve and I think it just kept uh, where I had it placed, it was pushing that valve, relieving the pressure. We should be good now. Uh, it's idling. I obviously got to time it. Uh, it seems like it's, it's searching for idle and it might be um, just idling too low to catch itself. So, I'm just gonna clean up here. We're gonna call it a day. All right, guys, I removed the hoist, cleaned up the garage, even the uh, toolbox is cleaned up, everything's put away. Uh, we're ready to start the next chapter, do a couple things. I got a box here of parts and just kinda start buttoning this up, make it look pretty. Uh, I'm excited for that video. You guys will see how straight the body is on this. So, thanks for watching guys, as always, see you next time.
Let's turn the lights on. Big food man smiling when the night's young. Bird take a trip with the one to be gone. With your life work, baby, got me running on my own. Riding by for the car, switching ties on the car. Come on, heavy, not the pictures of the walk. Yeah, baby.